In this JavaScript simple project, we are going to create a simple uh, user input which can get a video, audio, or, or an image from a user and represent it on the web page. So whenever I click in this browse button, it's going to guide me to local storage of PC and I can select any video, audio, or image that I want. And whenever I click on open, it's going to represent that video, audio, or image on the web page for us. But in this tutorial, I'm, uh, tutorial, I'm not going to write the codes for uh, image and also audio. But if you follow this tutorial, you will be able to write your open code for audio and also image. So let's create it HTML file. And I'm go just going to set its title to uh, get user input. And after that, I'm going to declare an input type of file which is going to take the file name to uh, file name and also it's going to take uh, an ID this ID is selector selector and after that I set an attribute to it which is accept to accept whatever we want is going to be a video so after that I declare a video tag to can handle and uh, the video which came came from the user input so after that I set a few styles to it but before I style that I want to mention one more thing that is not really important that how you style your web page it's important for user that how your website is working and its functionality is important it's not really important how cute or awesome that button is, button is affected so I write its code. I'm going to select the video tag. Uh, uh, after that, I set a max height to it. Its height would be 500 pixel, and also max width, uh, width, and its width would be 400 pixel. Uh, main, uh, main height would be. 300 pixel and also a uh, main where will be 200 pixel and also save it go to the browser this is the project we are actually working on you see this white space here because even though that a video is created but it has nothing it has no source to represent as on a web page so I'm going to set as display display to none for now and done with the HTML and CSS now it's time to go and type its uh, script code or what happened a script and now I'm going to uh, write its JavaScript code which is really fun and it's going to add an event listener to window at even listener and this even listener is going to happen or occur whenever the page is loaded and call this function so after that uh, I'm going to select this this user input document dot get element by ID is ID is selector and after that I'm going to set an even listener to this one too add even listener and this even listener is going to happen whenever this input type is changed and after that is also going to call a function function so this function is going to first check if this file is exist or collect this dot files uh, files and after that I have a few codes for it yet so I'm going to select this video. Uh, I say document dot document dot uh, query selector, which uh, when it's query selector, and this one is going to select the video. And after that, uh, we are going to set a few things to add, uh, which uh, it will be this one 
uh, we set this video before to non, it's displayed to none and I'm going to represent it again. I say, let's save this one as the video here. I say video dot style dot display and set it to flex or you can set it to block. And this is the most important part of codes, which is going to uh, set an SRC or source to this video tag. So I say video dot s oh, video dot src and equal to URL dot create object URL. And this is going to create uh, that URL which came from the uh, user input. So I point to this file and this is the only file. So we need to put this one and because this is the first one, I set this one too. I save it and go to the browser. Now refresh and you will see that it will do the same that we did before. I go to music and select this and represent it here. But it's not going to play it here, so I need to set a, a controls to add. I say video dot controls uh, video dot con rows equal to true. Mm, what happened? True and save it, go to the browser and make it a few bigger and if I click on a browse and select this video, open it, this is going to be, save it, browser, refresh, here we go, it has that play button and this to control it and now I play it I enjoy the music and you go and practice this project. Bye.